So I'm here to talk about how I personally have used open access and social media to disseminate some of the research that I have actually done. Um, like many academics, I have a digital presence these days and I think it's important to have a digital presence. As well as my UCL pages, I have a blog. That's fine, I try and update it once a week. But I also hang out on Twitter quite a lot, and that's for the more shorter things, like, hey, I'm at th this event. So I thought, well, why don't we join up some of this stuff? I'll try and dig out all my papers, and I will use my blog to talk about the papers, and I will tweet them, and I'll try and do one a week. If you tell people about your research, they look at it. It's not rocket science. Your research will get looked at more than papers which are not promoted via social media this because to me it's not surprising really that if you put stuff up and if you tweet it people will come and look at it but I think it took someone actually doing it and showing a graph and the graph was the thing that people like most to say look it is worth it it is worth the investment of time to do this if you want people to find and read your research you have to build a digital presence in your discipline and then you can use it to promote your work so my conclusion to all this is if your social media interaction is off often, then if you put open access and social media together, you get increased downloads. So I am encouraging any of my colleagues and academic colleagues to work on their social media presence, to work on their digital presence, and then use that when they have something interesting to say.